Hey, get Fox here. Today I'm going to talk about the things I hate in Madden 19. So let's just get right into it. Desync glitches, dashboarding, that stuff needs to go. It's been an issue for years, and people are still desyncing it. We're still seeing that happen. I'm still getting dashboards too. Um, you need to investigate that and fix that right away. Um, I think they mess up the quick sell on limited time players. Um, basically, limited time players will always go for over 500k because that's what they quick sell for. Um, I think it, it harms theme teams and it harms players looking to try players out on the market. Um, it only helps the pack pullers. Um, so I, I don't love it because down the road with theme teams, say if a guy dips below the 500k value, he won't be out there and you'll, you'll be basically left in a lurk for him. I, I don't see them changing this and I, because you know they started it and I don't think they'll stop it. But I really wish it would be. Uh, I wish it wouldn't have been put into effect in the first place. I wish they would just put 500,000 coin quick sell impacts and then also a limited time legend impacts. That way, twice as many people are happy with polls. But that's all I'm going to talk about for Mutt for this uh, Things I Hate in Madden 19. It's mostly going to be focused on gameplay the rest of the way because I think the Mutt team has done an absolutely phenomenal job stepping up their game from 18 to 19. Uh, and really, we've got to grade that as the year goes along because the live content will keep coming out. Um, and, like We don't want just like cookie-cutter promos. We want innovation. We want stuff like that to happen. So with, with Mutt... I think it's great for now. I think they've done a good job. Let's get into gameplay and the things that are wrong with it. What's kind of, I feel like the gameplay is letting down Mutt this year, uh, whereas last year I, I didn't feel that way. All right, so the gameplay. It is a wreck at times. The you know the, the inability for them to fix overpowered plays year to year, if I can speak, overpowered, says a lot about how well they pay attention to the online meta. I mean, they tried. They helped they, they helped take down some bunch. Bunch is still pretty good. It isn't as down as it was last year. I guess we'll wait and see what happens in the first um, competitive tournament. Uh, but like we see the split close has been good for years. Uh, there's just some 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 good routes. I don't think split close is overpowered at all. I, I think split close is a fine formation. Um, I don't know what they can do about it um, other than giving us more tools to stop these like unguardable routes. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. All right, let's talk about it right now. The like the deep crossers, you have to use with them. Like it doesn't matter what your zone is, you have to use your deep crossers. Some corner routes can't get you can't get uh, taken care of by zones. Like if I know a guy is gonna run a play, there, there's some routes that I can't do anything to do except I have to use them. Then you can check to uh, like a, a zone where my user isn't. So it, it's tough, you know. And, and I'm not gonna complain too much. I'm not gonna complain too much about like zones themselves right now because I know guys aren't the best at the, the moment, like their stats. But let's check back in like three to five months. Um, for like when start guys start getting like 95 or 99 zone, uh, the, but the deep blue you you guys are on watch. Like I, I've had a lot of issues with deep blue. They just kind of stand there and don't play too often. Um, I, I think contain blitzes that is a big issue. It's weird because they they, they specifically nerfed that last year with the three through five blitz and putting your corners on contain. It's weird. It's back this year, but it is back. Contain blitzes need to go. Um, it, it's too glitchy. It glitches out the running back. Um, and, and along with uh, those blitzes and stuff, and ID the mic feature. Um, that that shows about as much uh, as useful as target passing is this year. I I don't like ID Mike. It doesn't seem to work for me at all. Last year you had somebody you know at least with blitzes you'd have to ID somebody besides for the blitzer to stop bl some blitzes and like so it actually worked. This year I don't see really anything with it. I just slide my line now and every time I ID the mic somebody else gets through untouched. It feels like or that guy gets through untouched and ID the mic does nothing when you're IDing who's actually blitzing. So I think that's broken. That needs to be fixed. I think run blocking and pass blocking needs to be solved too. You know, players target weirdly. Just like let the defenders come past them without really trying. I think that's the most frustrating part. Like if they tried, if there was so like, say some sort of animation from the offensive lineman, maybe they tried to reach for that guy and he missed them. Um, that's fine. But like I don't know if it's awareness tied, but I've seen some high overall linemen and low overall linemen both miss in ignorance there. So downfield blocking on wide receivers i see a very similar thing like what you're running bubble screens and uh wide receiver screens like they say sometimes just miss the guy you want here's my opponent on fake screen we all know this is broken it's not it's not like terrible uh for for rookies of the game i think that's a very degenerate play and should be fixed though um that's just i, I know that's an error in the coding cover six cover nine also has errors unless you protect sticks uh but still should be patched uh hopefully we'll get a patch soon for some of this stuff uh, possession catches still don't work very well, even even on guys with high catch in traffic. Uh, the only the only you know caveat is there maybe we're not up to like the 99 catch in traffic, so we haven't seen everything yet. Uh, but uh, that uh, might issue that issue might sort itself out by January. But still, guys are getting great animations on uh, catch in traffic stuff, and I think and a lot of that I've learned. Um, but just hit Y because hitting Y in a catch is oftentimes the best solution now. Uh, be, because you know we're also getting we're getting spec catches, and uh, besides for making the spec catches, uh, and EA they didn't tell us that spec catches were going to be good. They didn't tell us like 
they, they nerf the SWAT at all. So aggressive catching is a thing in 19. Uh, for better or worse, it depends on your opinion on it. Uh, that's that's a whole different video. Uh, but why is like in a possession catch situation in front of deep blues makes him like freak out. It makes him get like a two man interaction with like air. So like your guy just like catches the ball. And then your, your deep blue like also tries to catch it five yards behind and the guy can rack for a few yards. I, I it's, it's weird. The deep blue, like I said, with the zones are a big issue. So, um, but ideally in the future, if you're going to bring back a feature like pressing Y to Moss dudes, uh, it'd be great if you told us. That's just good communication. Uh, man coverage itself seems good, which isn't a bad thing. But when man coverage is great, I think the, the game is bad. Like, it's degenerative and, and no skill. It's kind of like the 91 zones, but in my opinion, worse. Because there's no way to manipulate man coverage without, besides for a couple routes. Uh, but then you can send uh, blitzes and stuff. Like, so, it, it's not a great way to manipulate man coverage when it's great. When, you know what I mean? Like, right now, you can do it with, with certain routes and stuff, like motion slants, stuff like that. Uh, but, like, the when man coverage is there, it's just sticky. If you can get Deion Sanders, you can just let the computer do all the work for you. And then you really can just, like, rush the pass with your uh, player character. Uh, but we'll see what happens when the real high-end corners come out in the coming months. Especially a time like gold and tickets come out if man coverage is just the meta. Um, but on that note for man coverage, I feel like shading should work. Like if I want to cross or take it away and the zones aren't doing it, I feel like I should be able to shade inside. And then my guy actually plays inside and, and runs inside of the receiver uh, running that crosser. Right now, I, I don't see any use for shading. Uh, but somebody let me know in the comments if, if you found a use for shading. So, um transparency i think is a huge issue we need solved uh basically needs to be worked out the communication between us and ea they've gotten better uh in the previous couple years it's much better now than it used to be uh, they've they've made some great great leaps forward with pack odds and thresholds for abilities we're still looking for formulas and a lot of stuff like run block along with awareness ties we shouldn't be looking at uh like people trying to reverse code based on descriptions uh and to try and figure out your game please just tell us uh, but one one of the one of the most frustrating things I probably should have let off with this is that is that the users aren't animating when the ball is close to them. So I I don't know if it's their spec catch rating and that's not triggering the animations or or we need hot hands you want need us to buy an ability chem. But but having baited the opponent properly and then or, or they just made a bad decision um, that should pay off for the defense both the user and sometimes I see the CPU not even reacting either. But bailing out bad decisions is bad game design in my opinion. Um, the strip animation punching out from behind is way overpowered. Um, screen passes to the halfback are terrible and broken a lot of times. Wide receiver bubbles and screens, like I mentioned before, so the wide receiver sometimes decides not to target the right players. They just kind of go forward and, and off into La La Land. Um, but sometimes players don't accelerate at all. Sometimes on a kick return, you know, when you catch it, they just turn slowly and barely move, they barely move at first. Uh, or like, say, say, say thing on a hitch, not on a kick return so much. A hitch, they don't turn very quickly, is what I meant. But the kick return, they just like kind of lur lurk forward for a little bit, then sprint. Um, but then, like, the fumble recoveries along with the, you know, punch off of behind strip animation, it, it looks a lot like FIFA, I think, is the meme right now. Meme right now. The people are just kicking the ball over and over. And then the uh, turn screen on interceptions, I feel it's really wonky right now. It makes a smooth transition on an interception. It makes pick six a lot harder, and I'm stumbling a lot on them, too. All right, so that is it for the things I hate in Madden 19. Let me know what you guys have in the comments below, uh, what you guys would like to see patched, everything what you'd like to see uh, happen in this, this game going forward. Uh, so thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.